Present for Mummy. Hi, Dad. Where's Mum? It's her birthday today, and she's putting on the little bell I gave her as a present. It's a lovely present. Thank you, sweetheart. That's a really nice present. I'll give you one, too. Connie went off to look for a present that would really please her mum. But she couldn't think of anything. So she went to ask her friends in the woods. On the way, she met some ants. But as they were so busy, she didn't disturb them. Lots of Connie's friends live in the pond, and she thought that some of them might be able to help her. Hi, Froggy. Can you help me? What do you want, Connie? Well, I'm looking for a present for my mummy. I think the best present you could give her is over there. A juicy fly. A fly? Yeah, how horrible. My mum wouldn't like that for a present. Connie wasn't upset and trotted off happily to the waterfall. Lots of odd creatures live there. Here's a water boatman. And there's something that looks like a helicopter. It's a dragonfly. And if we look into the water, we see the busiest worker of them all, the beaver. What eager beavers like doing most is moving logs across rivers to build dams. Hi, Mr. Beaver. Good morning, Connie. Would you care to help me bring that trunk over here? Thanks. Why are you here? I'm trying to find the loveliest present in the whole world for my mummy. Can you help me? Oh, I know what that is. This trunk is the best present. It's delicious. <laughs> Go on, Connie. Why don't you give it a try? Ah, it's terribly hard. My mum won't like that either. Thank you, Mr. Beaver. Bye-bye. How odd cows are. So Connie went on looking. <laughs> Rabbit, do you know the best present for my mummy? Sure, the best present is this one. Smell it. Uh, 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 Mum doesn't like things that tickle her nose. Connie kept on looking for Mum's present. Hi, Buddy Mouse. Do you know what I could give to my mum as a present? Sure, this piece of cheese. Take it. The cheese had a very strong smell. Mum wouldn't like that. Well, if you don't want it, I'll eat it. And as night fell, Connie still hadn't found a present for her mum.
Connie wanted to catch the moon, so she jumped up again and again. But it was too high for her to reach. Then she thought she could catch it if she climbed up the mountain. The moon's still so high up, I don't think I could ever reach it. Mm -mm. But Mum would love it as a present from me. Wise Owl was flying past and heard Connie crying. What's the matter, Connie? Oh, I've climbed up here to catch the moon, but I can't do it. But why on earth do you want to catch the moon? Today's Mum's birthday, and I wanted to give it to her as a present. Oh, you don't need to catch it. If you go home, you'll find it right above the house. Connie went back home and was so happy to see that the moon was just where Wise Owl said it would be. Where have you been? We were so worried about you. I went to look for your present, Mummy, and you'll love it. Where is it? It's up there, Mummy. It's the moon. Look. Mwah. It's absolutely marvelous. I love you, Connie. Yours is the best present I have ever had. I knew you'd like it. That night, Connie went to sleep happy, knowing she'd found the present her mum really liked.